Welcome to the first section when black plays with passive way with e6 move. Black plays here knight c6. I will explain you why this is better than immediately going for e6. Knight c6, c3, knight f6. Here we play bishop f4. First of all, let's see why here bishop f4 and not knight f3. Uh, after knight f3, black can play bishop g4, and developing their bishop. And when we play queen b3, they have comfortable move queen c7, not letting us to play bishop f4 move. And as you can remember from a previous video, here in this line, when black plays knight c6, c3, queen c7, we play here knight e2, and then going for bishop f4 for additional tempo. In this line, after knight f6, he play knight f3, bishop g4, queen b3, queen c7, our knight is already on f3, so we cannot play a bishop f4 move anywhere. So here, after c3, knight f6, we play bishop f4 move. In this section, we're gonna look here e6 move, leaving their bishop on c8 uh, very passive. And if black wants to play e6, this is the best way uh, to play e6 here, and not immediately, now we will see why. If after e5, uh, cd5, bishop d3, uh, let's say black plays here e6. Here, uh, when our bishop on c1 and knight is on g1, we can play here with a better way. We will play c3 and when black plays something like this, knight c6. Instead of going to knight f3 or going to bishop f4, we will play here f4 move. This is very strong move. After f4, knight's going to f3 and then somewhere castle or even without castle. We can play somewhere queen e2 without this castle. And leave it maybe for some places going to long castle. And uh, it's very dangerous position for black, it's very very easy attack. We just, the next move we play knight f3, queen e2, it's possible knight e5. And then, um, let's say f4 here, yeah. let's say black plays knight f6, knight f3, bishop e7, queen e2, castle. We can even now immediately go for attack, like knight e5, then go knight d2, knight f3, g4, and go there. Even keeping our king in the center. Black has this very bad bishop. Why we can go for attack? Because the center is closed and black cannot open the center. And it's a very easy game for us. The same is after bishop d3, knight c6, c3. If black plays here, e6, the same. f4, immediately f4, knight f3. The same is after knight, um, if black plays knight f6 here. Knight f6, c3, e6, again f4. Now you can ask me a good question, why not c3, knight f6, uh, f4 here? This is an interesting move, it's playable, sometimes even in the, during the streams I will play this move. But the problem is when the pawn is on e7, not on e6, the bishop on c8 is not closed. So here after f4, black has two moves, bishop g4 and then play e6. Or immediately to play here g6, next move to play bishop f5. And then, um, let's say we play knight f3, bishop f5, take, take. Black against this e4, very strong um, uh, square and important square for them. However, if black plays this position with e6, f4, then uh, our e4 square is our. Bishop on c8 is very bad, so it no never can come to f5. That's why when the pawn is on e6, we go f4 immediately. Here, uh, black should play if they want to play with e6. They should play knight c6, c3, knight f6, they wait us. Now we play bishop f4 move, this is important move guys, you should remember this one. And here they can play e6 move. Now we cannot play f4. So this is the best way for black to play e6 if they want to play this line with e6. So let's go to look at some games, some typical games, how we continue it and how we get very strong attack in this line when black play e6 and letting their bishop on c8 very passive. 